Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. And here's the thing. Um, let's talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I'm not going to talk about the whole um, the reason people buy consoles is because I don't have to upgrade them thing. I'm not going to talk about the VR. I'm not going to really talk about the Slim. I'm not going to talk about anything. I'm going to talk about something that... Uh, let's see if we can get that glare out of the way. Eh, yeah, sort of. It didn't really work too well, but let's talk about movies, because here's the thing. One of the things that Sony is selling the PlayStation 4 Pro on is that it's 4K ready. You can play 4K, 4K content. You can stream 4K content. You can do 4K content VR. You can do all this stuff. The only thing you can't do is watch 4K movies on disc. What the heck, Sony? Seriously, what the heck? Now, here's the thing. I don't have a 4K player yet, all right? I, I don't intend to get one anytime soon. I bought these because they're combo packs. Combo packs have been very useful ever since the Blu-ray and HD days, where it's like, hey, I'm going to get a Blu-ray player eventually, so I'm going to get the Blu-ray DVD combo so that I have some Blu-ray discs when I get it. When 3D Blu-ray came out, I bought 3D Blu-ray combo packs, even though I didn't have a 3D TV yet, just for the time that I would eventually have one. I will one day have a 4K TV. It might even be the next year or two. Who knows? I don't know. I can't see the future. I didn't think I'd get the 3D TV as soon as I would. But here's the thing. I'm investing in the discs because when I get that player, I want some thing to watch them on. Now, here's the strange thing. The Xbox One S will play these. The PS4 Pro, which is made by Sony, and which this format is manufactured by Sony, you can't play these on. Like, fail. Like, total fail. Like, even, you have failed so much, Sony, on this PlayStation 4 Pro. Because not only does the very existence contradict the whole purpose of owning a console, that you don't need to upgrade it, that you don't need to buy a new one every other year where you don't need to get a memory card or a video card, whatever the latest thing is. Not only does the release contradict that, you're not even using a feature that is so logical. Why would you do this, Sony? I mean, I have heard rumors that, well, Sony doesn't want to undercut their own um, 4K players that are coming out at some point later this year. Since when? Hello? PlayStation 2, cheapest DVD player on the market at the time. PlayStation 3, cheapest Blu-ray market at, on the market at the time. R PlayStation 4 Pro, not the cheapest 4K Ultra HD player on the market. Doesn't even play the discs. Cheapest 4K <laughs> HD, boy, they have really got to change the name. But the cheapest 4K disc player on the market is the Xbox One S. That is a complete and utter failure. Sony has always been striving to make their consoles the cheapest movie player in the market ever since they decided to go into this whole concept that we're going to move away from, this isn't just a game system, this is a home entertainment box. It will do everything for you. And they're still making that claim, but now they're not even doing the most basic additions. Let's move this around because that's a slightly better movie. Sony! Hear me loud and clear. If I wasn't going to buy your PlayStation 4 or Neo or Pro, whatever the heck it's called, before, I'm not going to buy it now. The only reason I would have to buy it at this point is if it had a 4K Ultra HD player in it, and it doesn't, which means whenever I get that TV, which will probably be in a couple of years, if we're being honest, it takes time to save for those things and to wait for them to come down in cost, of course, I will just get another Xbox One S. What a fail on your part. And of course, I guess it should, in all fairness, I probably wouldn't have bought the Pro anyway because I do not encourage this. We're gonna update the consoles every couple of years. Like, no. You buy a console, it should be good for at least five or six years. I don't want another PC. I don't want PCs to play games. I buy consoles so that I don't have to worry about upgrading the PCs. If I have to worry about updating my console to play games, guess what? I will simply not play games. Period. And 
Nintendo and Microsoft, you can quote me on that too. So, anyway, I'm curious. Uh, by the way, full disclosure, I know that your primary reason for purchasing the PlayStation 4 Pro should be to play games. I'm just focusing on the movie aspect because that's what I do. But what are your thoughts? Does this announcement bother you? Does the emission bother you? Do you even care? I'd like to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.